welcome back to the channel i am rupali shah a blockchain developer and your instructor at newton school so in this video we are going to discuss and see my life journey of becoming a blockchain developer but before moving to my journey i would like to introduce you with newton school because it is an edtech company and it helps you to become a full stack developer and it provides you two benefits first is that if you take a course you really don't need to pay fees in the beginning once you complete the course land a job then only you need to pay for the courses and the second part and the most important thing is that it provides you a placement from a guarantee placement that too from 5 lakhs to 40 lakhs so it is a very good opportunity to grab if you want to become a full stack developer and you can check out the first link in the description from there you could easily become a like a very familiar with our uh, whole structure the core structure and you would get that uh, how it would help you to become a, a full stack developer so now let's get started and let's see my life journey of becoming a blockchain developer so in mid 2021 i started learning blockchain and before that i used to learn about web development i used to be a web developer in fact i used to work for as a web, uh, wordpress developer at a company and uh, i also used to learn react and node js but uh, after uh, like 2021 i started focusing on blockchain field i started focusing on decentralized application web 3.0 and started to uh, just uh, gather some information from white papers and here and there then after two months i realized that this was very informal way of learning so i bought a course on udemy and uh, i have also shared that course uh, on uh, one of my video uh, which was about best resources to become a blockchain developer you can check that uh, video and you can uh, grab some uh, insight like which course i am talking about so i took that course and after following that course i got my base clear that okay what is a blockchain application how it works and that course was on solidity so yeah my solidity got uh, stronger and i started using ethereum blockchain uh, for the uh, blockchain applications then i uh, started participating in many hackathons now i consider hackathons was that golden uh, opportunity that golden platform which, which actually converted me uh, to a blockchain developer because if you learn from a course and if you don't implement them na then that is not at all your use you really just ruined your money uh, if you just bought a course and then didn't uh, create something or practice uh, something and for practicing i consider uh, this uh, hackathons as the best place because there there is a time constraint there are teammates you start working with the team you start understanding people you start connecting with the people and uh, in hackathons there are several uh, workshops so i used to take part in hackathons where the uh, decentral uh, that uh, theme would be there so that i could create something on that particular theme my purpose was not to win a hackathon my purpose was to understand blockchain uh, and uh, decentral applications more and more deeply so i used to take part in those hackathons only uh, which uh, used to have uh, open innovation uh, because with open innovation also you could create something out of the box uh, like in that you have to create something out of the box and uh, then you can create something which you would like so i used to always create a blockchain application in any of the hackathons so yeah a few hackathons we won our team won and a few hackathons we lost but uh, the hackathons which we lost were more important than the hackathons which we won because uh, when you lose a hackathon or when you lose uh, get a failure basically uh, over this a uh, whole journey then you actually get to know that okay where you did uh, wrong part you start uh, seeing the projects of uh, different people who actually won that uh, particular theme or won that particular hack and then you uh, just get inspired from their uh, projects you try to understand okay what they did right what you did wrong and uh, this way you start learning and learning is the main purpose so yeah it's always good if you 
like uh, lose a hackathon and it's good if you won a hackathon because in both the case it's a win win situation uh, every time it's a benefit for you guys only so i would suggest you that uh, after taking a basic training uh, like from my videos or from some uh, other resources try to uh, participate in as much hackathons as you can because that is a platform where you experiment where you create something innovative where you create something which uh, you have not created till now so yeah this way you gather some projects this way you connect to the people you understand people you learn uh, from your teammates also so it's a very uh, golden opportunity these hackathons are really very 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 important place to uh, be as a developer as a software developer or as any like developer not only blockchain i'm talking about if you are a machine learner uh, like if you are learning machine learning artificial intelligence then also you should participate in hackathons and create uh, some projects over there because when you have a time constraint na then you actually uh, push your brain uh, you push uh, your whole energy on a particular project to create something and if you want that then it's all of course you get some prizes you get some cash money you get, uh, get some swags so it's always good to be the part of a hackathon now uh, after being uh, visiting like several hackathons after connecting with uh, many teams like being part of many teams then i understood that okay uh, i have to move one step further so i uh, start reaching on uh, linkedin like on linkedin i used to reach people i used to connect with people who were working on this particular field i used to see their projects if they have that project column uh, so that i could get some good ideas and i could experiment on my own project with those ideas then i used to uh, like uh, message and uh, uh, like uh, approach a few people and uh, would uh, some people would approach me like uh, on my profile if i am an active member and if on my profile i have updated that i am a blockchain developer then a few people would approach you a few people you can approach and this whole journey was like uh, Uh, connecting with people and learning stuff so yeah um, both the things uh, basically help me to get a job uh, as a junior blockchain consultant and also help me to be a blockchain developer so that's it f- about my journey i hope this journey would give you some insightfuls uh, i hope this journey my journey would inspire you and uh, you could learn something out of this video and you could just implement it according to yourself so two things are very important in my journey first was hackathon and the second one is linkedin these two things are very important for me i hope you would uh, really like this video and uh, be connected with us on this channel by subscribing our channel and like the video so that we get motivated and we create more and more stuff on youtube uh, for free, which is available for free for you guys uh, so that anyone could become a blockchain developer thank you for watching